Hey everybody, the purpose of this quiz is to get us some solutions to our first uh, one proportion confidence interval quiz. Um, it was actually posted in week two, but since I let you hang it on to week three, I wanted to go back and put a solution for it. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to have to use Excel with the TI. Um, this is the onboard TI you can put onto your computer, but I don't know how to put programs into it. So I'm guessing some of you use the sample size calculation uh, uh, program to uh, to answer number one here. So I'm going to use Excel and then we'll shut down Excel and we'll use um, we'll use uh, the TI for the rest. So uh, candidates planning a poll and wants to be no more off than 2.4 percent and he wants to be 95 percent confident in his or her uh, result. How large a sample is needed? Okay, so the reason I'm over here in Excel, uh, if you were using your TI, I gave you a program called Sample Size Calc, which allows you to very, very simply run, um, run, you know, run Sample Size Calc. It asks you for confidence. It asks you for your margin of error as a decimal. So you'd put in 95 and 0.025, and it would kick out your correct result. Uh, Excel, I actually have to, I actually have to form it. So confidence, uh, I want to be at 95 percent confidence and a margin of error of no more than 0.025. So you, that's, this is what actually you would put into your calculator. I don't know why that's changing it to a percent, but whatever. You would put in 95 and 0.025, press enter, and out would come the result. Um, let me test my norms inverse. I think this is the one I want to use. Inverse returns the inverse of, I think this is the one I want. And then I'm going to put the probability, I'm going to put it, this is not going to make a whole lot of sense right now, but I'll, I'll explain it in a second. Yep, that uh, looks approximately like the correct number. Remember, uh, the, the critical value you would use for two standard deviations is 1.96. You might wonder why I put a 0.975 on there. Um, I'll explain that more next week, but I had to put 0.975 because it does a percentile. It wants to know what the critical value is at the 97 and a half percentile. That's the same critical value that would be in the 95% confidence interval because that interval doesn't include the last two and a half percent. If somebody remembers to ask me this in class, I'll explain it more, uh, more clearly. Anyway, to get our sample size, we just take that guy squared and we multiply it by 0.25. We did this all in class. And then we divide the result by this guy squared. And there's our result, 1536.58. But you want to round that bad boy up to 1537. 1537 is your, your minimum sample size to maintain your confidence and your, your lack of margin of error, or, or your no more than 2.5% margin of error. So there's your, there's your solution to number, number one up here. Okay. Uh, number two, it asks, what does it ask? It says, uh, suppose the candidate randomly polls 6,000 folks, which is well above the 1537 you just calculated, um, and of those 3,201 support them. Construct the 95% confidence interval for his support. All right, so we fire this bad boy up. We go to your stat tester, and you're going to scroll down until you find one prop Z in. Grab that. You had, what was it? It was 3,201 supporters out of 6,000 at 95% confidence. So it looks like you got between 52% and 54.6%. Round to what you want to round to. 52% to 55% or 52.1% to 54.6%. Either one's fine. Um, I'm more interested that you get in the ballpark than anything. Um, so there's your TI giving us that. Uh, based on that previous confidence interval, can your candidate be 95% confident? That is the majority support him. My vote for this is yes. And now I ask you to explain why or why not. So my, my, my vote is yes because at 95% confidence, the minimum percentage of support is 52.1% which means there's at least 2.1 percentage points higher than a majority in this confidence interval. In other words, 0.5, 50% is not in the interval. This entire interval is above 50%. So clearly I'm 95, oops, just lost it. I'm 95% confident that we've got the majority because the entire interval is in the majority.
I would be concerned if this dropped down to, say, uh, 0.48 or something along those lines. But I'm not. I'm not worried because it doesn't drop below that. I am 95% confident we have at least a 2.1 percentage point advantage. So hopefully that helped you get some solutions for your first uh, confidence interval quiz. And I'm going to shut this off now. <laughs>